This is Enough Said Sports. Hey guys, I hope all is well in your world. It is all well here at Enough Said Sports as we come to you with another college football preview and prediction. This one's going to be for Saturday, September the 18th there uh, at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be the Alabama Crimson Tide going up against the Florida Gators uh, there in the swamp. Uh, we've got uh, the spread in this one. Alabama is favored by 15 and a half, and the total in this one is 56 and a half. On the Alabama side, Coach Nick Saban back for his 15th season. Uh, call him St. Nick, 2-0 uh, and o this year. Uh, they beat Mercer 48-14 last time out. Obviously, uh, very, very inferior competition there for them. Uh, Bryce Young, the first-year starter, has looked really good so far. 67.8% completion percentage, 8.4 yards per attempt, eight touchdowns to zero interceptions. Up front, they, they're very veteran. Uh, they've got one senior, three juniors, and one sophomore. And uh, John Machichi, Manichi the third. Uh, is a first-round projected pick at the wide receiver position offensively for Alabama. Uh, they run a 3-4 defense, a very uh, veteran defense, very, very good defense. Josh Jacoby uh, and uh, also Philoran Mathis, uh, both of them are projected first-round picks there on that defense. Both of them are very, very good. They jump right off the tape when you watch them. Uh, they, they, uh, they look – outstanding all the way around this Alabama team does. Uh, when you watch them on film up against Mercer, uh, they play a lot of backups uh, against Mercer. Um, they, they pretty much let, let, up, you know, let up off of them very quickly, uh, didn't play their starters very long, and uh, you know, it, it really wasn't a contest, obviously. A much, much better team than Mercer ever thought about being. Uh, but they were quite impressive on the win, on the win over Miami on film when we watched that one. Uh, Dan Mullen is back for his fourth season there for Florida. Uh, they are 2-0 and this year. Uh, very nice victory, 42-20 to over UC, U, USF there, uh, University of uh, South Florida. Uh, Emory Jones is the quarterback, uh, been at Florida since 2018. This is his first full year starting. 63.7% uh, completion percentage, 6.5 yards per attempt, nine touchdowns to five interceptions for a career. Uh, they got two seniors up front, two juniors, one sophomore. Uh, and their right guard, Stuart Reese, is a third or fourth round projected draft pick there in the National Football League. Defensively, they run a 3-3-5 set. Uh, they do have one freshman cornerback, uh, but they do have an outstanding defensive end. And Zachary Carter, uh, who is a projected first-round pick, uh, Trey Dean the third, uh, and then also Ventrell Miller, uh, all very, very good players. Uh, Trey Dean is their strong safety, and Ventrell Miller is one of their linebackers. Um, they, are, uh, they got some players over there, uh, but they, as a whole unit, they haven't played that great on that end. Um, they're, they're pretty decent offensively. Uh, they have very explosive uh, plays at times. Uh, defensively, just not that good. Uh, they've really uh, kind of struggled on that end and really have given up more points they probably, than they probably should have. Uh, with all that being said, guys, I like Alabama in this one. Uh, it's really hard to pick against the Crimson Tide. Uh, this is one of those games uh, where you, you, you kind of feel like Florida is going to have some kind of a fight in them, uh, being that this, being that they're double-digit home underdogs, uh, but Alabama is just too good. Uh, that this is the team that is the mature, very mature, very professional team, uh, and Nick Saban will have these guys ready to play. I uh, like Alabama minus 15 and a half, and I like it to go over 56 and a half. I think uh, Florida will be able to score some points against this Alabama team, as stacked as they are all defensively. I do think it'll be a high score, higher scoring contest uh, than 56. So I feel very comfortable with that one. So uh, I'll take Alabama minus 15 and a half and over 56 and a half total points. With all that being said, guys, thank you. Appreciate all the support. Let me know in the comments what you think of this pick. And as always, have a great and wonderful day and take care of yourself. Talk to you soon.